Hey, welcome to the Triple Two PC Podcast, coming to you straight out of the DFW Metroplex. I'm Kev, he's Keith, and this is the Triple Two PC. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to the Triple Two PC Podcast. I'm Kevin. And I'm Keith. And this is the Triple Two PC. Hey, what a great day to be alive. Every day is, brother. Do you feel that energy? Do you feel that? Because uh, we 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 spent a, a couple of weeks since we got on here, right? Well, you know the holidays pass, you know. So you know, let's talk about that briefly. Yeah. Um, the Fourth of July, and <laughs> I'd like to remind people, uh, especially us, hey, that while we're celebrating their independence from England, you know, the Boston Tea Party, blah blah blah, we were still in bondage. So let's just be mindful of that as we celebrate the holiday. But don't get me wrong, you know, a little barbecue. Hey, and I'll take the day off, trust. But I just like to always, you know, get the basis because that's what we do on the 222 PC podcast. And I want to add one more thing to that, just so you know that nothing solely exists. There's also the Juneteenth that we celebrate down here. Yes, that is true. A lot of people know, don't know of the little fact that uh, they did not listen for five years and we were kept in bondage another five years. So let's be mindful of that as we celebrate Juneteenth. Now I digress off my soapbox. Yes, my brother, but you know, history and uh, remembrance of history is always a good thing, right? To let you know where you were so you know where you're going and where you've been so we want to keep that thing always in the forefront of my mind and stay mindful of who we are and how we got to where we are today hey so speaking of where we are today this might sting a little bit this might hurt a little bit but you know we got to go in because we have to be 100 we got to keep it real at all times on the triple two pc right that's right so the topic i want to bring up today is called Ding, ding, ding. It's like a fight. Baby daddies versus baby's fathers. Mm, that one is going to sting a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What you got? Well, I got a story for you. Maybe not a story, uh, a history, if you will. Okay. An experience, if you will. Because... When you ask the question or when you state at the baby daddies versus baby fathers, the first thing I do is what? Self-evaluate because I do have kids. So yeah. I said self and myself said, huh? I said, which one am I? And then my higher self said, I'm glad you asked. Because I got a story for you. And here it goes. I'm 21, about to be 22 years of age. And I have been having a girlfriend for about two years. We decided to break it off. Okay. All right. So she moves to Georgia with her sister. And I stay in Wichita Falls, Texas. Stand up. Right. Right. It's over. Right. We didn't broke up before. Now, but we know this is over because she's gone. This is in January of 1991. Okay. We don't talk anymore after January. She calls me in March from the A now, A town shouting. Mm-hmm. And she says, I'm pregnant. So, right. A lot of things go through my mind, but the one thing that doesn't that he's not mine. Now that's kind of crazy, right? Because she's been gone to the A for two months. Anything could have happened in two months, right? Right. But I never thought any of that, brother. And so let's 360 back to the topic. Baby father versus baby daddy. Well, at that moment, I decided to go to work, got paid on a Tuesday and told her I'm coming to get you. Mm -hmm. My seed in your womb. Now I'm 21, maybe 22. So I think right there, I made the decision. I think where we're going with this is that I was a baby father. All right. All right. Yeah. 
And I think you see where I'm going with that, because, I mean, this young kid decided, hey, I'm going to get paid on Tuesday, get off of work at four o'clock and drive to the A. Now, mind you, ain't no navigation back then. It's map time, baby. Right. 13 hours, 13, 14 hours. Come on now. And I do it, bro. Now, I get there, man, because my I've tuned into the right thing, man. You know, you get help, man, when you tuned in, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I start seeing all these signs that say Atlanta. I'm going to drive a little bit more. Damn, another sign, Atlanta. Atlanta. I said, man, let me stop. And I stop at this little convenience store, man. And it's a little grimy. You know, it's a little unsavory. But, you know, I'm on a mission. And so... I asked this guy, hey, man, I'm looking for this address right here in College Park. He said, man, it's right there. And he point down the hill, bro, to the apartments. Hmm. I, I go down there, man, and I knock on the door. She has her bag packed, man, and we go right back. Now, my y'all done went to work. Now, I done drove 13 hours. Now, I'm turning right back around. Man. Let's go. And to, and to sum it up, I think I made a baby father move because I went and took care of him. And now mind you, this woman, now that I'm talking about, she's no longer with us. Aww. No, no, but that's okay because energy doesn't die. So I told my son, she'll always be with you. <laughs> and so no I doubt, just no thought, doubt. yeah, man, hey man, so that's baby father stuff right there. Yeah. And you know, what say, what say you? You know, I, I look at, you know, we all have to, you know, look at our own lives. And, and a majority of us, you know, especially in what we say the black community, grow up without fathers. And, you know, and I, I, as a father, I know a lot of blame goes to men, but, you know, I, I do understand there's a, a lot of equal blame that go, can go around as well. Right. And, uh, but, I don't use that as an excuse um, to be doing what I'm supposed to do as a man. Um, Correct. You know, I was raised by just my mother, right? But the things that I had to learn as a, as a man, I had to learn as I was becoming one. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anybody to teach me those things. So what I, what I wanted, you know, was the best of all things, right? So when I had a child, I wanted to make sure I wanted to be there for my child. You know, I want to make sure I'm doing those, the, the things properly and, and raise them in a, in a correct and right way. So to me, as a man, I don't understand. You know, I know there's a lot of factors, a lot of things that happen, man, and a lot of things, but how you your nature and brought up, you know, to lead to how you become in life. But to me, there's something that should be inside of you that would say, I have a responsibility. This thing that was created as half of me, I created it with this person. However you did it, you still did it. No doubt. I have accountability no in that. <clears throat> it's man. It's funny. You say that, man, you know, you said there's blame on both ends because, oh yeah, there's some sperm donors out here. Correct. Yes, sir. For sure. But the flip side of that is, it's some brothers out here, man, that want to do for their boy or their girl. And you know what happens? The baby mother finds some kind of reason not to let them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's messed up, man. And that's why, you know, we have to talk about these things because, you know, to know yourself, you have to deal with those demons or whatever you want to call them in your life. And uh, we have to get better. There is no okay. just sitting back and thinking that, you know, what can you do? It takes all of us. We all live on this planet, right? One race. One race. One race. One race. No <laughs> doubt. But see, lady, let me give the flowers to the sisters, though. You got some sisters that won't even put a brother on child support and just say, come do something. Yes, you do. And we applaud you. We applaud you. Because we know because, it ain't easy. Man, it is vital, especially for a child in those theta years, you know, zero to seven that they see both there both influences you know you you got the male influence but you also have the nurturing influence of the woman the woman's principle but you also need the man's principle because those two principles together powerful are undeniable yeah you know, like I said, it's high time we wake up, man. You know, sometimes, you know, 
it takes a, a beautiful, you know, something dr dramatic to happen. And you start looking at birth rates and uh, marriages and families, especially in our community, uh, something dramatic has already happened. So it can only, you know, get a whole lot worse. And that's not what we want. Well, you know, a lot of it is social engineering against us, man. You know that. Let's not be coy here. There were some things that we were set, man. We were just pigeonholed, man. Just set back, man, with, you know, to be real brief with it, you know, removing the male from the home and empowering the woman right. to the point where, you know, the woman's power drunk and thinks she no longer needs the man. And, you know, we can get on that, man. But I just want to say that has a lot to do with what's going on, bro. They do. They do. But now it's the awakening. It's a time for the awareness. Let's go. You know what I mean? We're the strongest, one of the strongest races of people there is. And I'm going to get on that singularity level just for a second to let you know like you have the power look at what has already been overcome and you're gonna tell me now you're satisfied and you're done i think not my brothers and sisters i think not and you just said a mouthful right there because it starts with acknowledging and accepting the fact that we are you know how i like to say screwing the pooch man we messing this thing up man you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying we because it's us. We're yes. one. We're one, y'all. We are all supposed to be connected. And speaking of that, that's the segue for me to say what happened to the village. You know, baby daddies need support. Yeah. Baby fathers may have it together, but baby daddies, don't we love them too? Come on now. So guess what? If he's struggling with something, instead of convicting him with it, Talk with them with it and talk with anybody that gives a damn. And if you, you know me, I like to say it's two kinds of people. There's, there's people that ask about your business so they can know. And then there's people that ask about your business so they can help. Can we please be the latter? Can we please be asking to see where we can help? Be wise about your business. You understand me, man? Hey, baby, they like, man, I need to go get my son. I ain't got no ride. Well, guess what? You do now, my G. Let's go get it. Come on. Come on. And baby mama, please, when we get there, be like, you can't even, you ain't got a car. You had to catch a ride. See what I'm talking about? Let's not. And brothers, I ain't got no money. Hey, man, money ain't the only thing you're supposed to be supplying here, Jack. Time is way more valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, necessities are necessities. Mm -hmm. But if you put both hands on the plow and, and look for some positive, high vibe, guess what's going to come your way? Positive, high vibe. Let's go. Start with a realization of who you are. Look yourself in the self. mirror. Hey. Ask the wise. We're going to do a segment on asking the wise. Ask the wise and follow the trail and see where it leads. You'd be surprised at yourself. And if you're asking why, that means you're asking for and looking for and seeking truth. It's there. <laughs> you're looking external when you need to look internal. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is too easy. Uh, so, Michael Jackson said, so, it, so man for in the any of you that didn't catch that, the answers that you're seeking are within you. You just got to know how to look. Because check this scenario. You want to change something, right? Well, we naturally see the problem, try to address it with the person and try to change the person. But watch this. If you go back to that thing that my man was just alluding to inside and change something, guess what happens? Now it forces them to change because they no longer can do the thing that they were doing to you because you're not that anymore. So it forces them to do something what? Different. Different. That's how you change it from the inside. And if you look at this world, that's with any establishment. If there's a government or establishment that needs to be changed, where does it start? From the inside. House to house. So any you, so, any insurrection starts from house to yeah. house. So not that we're trying to talk about any kind of insurrection, but it's like you gotta understand you have to get knowledge, you have to get understanding. That's right. It's not a literal insurrection, but it is a metaphysical one. You have to attack it like it's war because it is the conflict within. 
if you want to be a baby, a better baby daddy, guess what? You will be, which will make you a baby father. Get at us. This has been the Chipper 2 PC Podcast. I'm Keith. And I'm Kevin. Peace.